To say the Arizona Coyotes are on life support would be an absolute understatement. They're on Hector Salamanca face-to-face -face with Gustavo Fring type life support. And as far as where the Arizona Coyotes would be relocating to, we've got a couple of frontrunners. Obviously, Houston is right up there because there's so many people there. You've got the Battle of Texas. It just makes sense. But not far behind them is Salt Lake City, Utah. Apparently, they're making a very attractive push, and uh, they've got a twinkle in Gary Bettman's eye there. And I know people like to say Quebec City. Look, I would love nothing more than the Quebec Nordiques to get a team again. I just don't see it for this particular relocation. Apparently, from Elliot Friedman on the 32 Thoughts podcast, a sleeper pick here is San Diego. And they've got a bit of an outside shot here, which would be interesting. But does the NHL really need another team in California? But a team that always gets brought up in hockey lore and legends and is revered by so many people. Everybody loves the logo, the jerseys. It's the heart for the Whalers, but it hasn't really been brought up in relocation rumors for a long time. But Sportsnet put out an article saying Connecticut governor has group interested in buying the Coyotes and moving the team to Hartford, which is, again, kind of out of left field. We weren't really expecting this as a contender. And look, this isn't the biggest news in the world, but it's not insignificant either. I would argue that this is pretty significant. I mean, in an interview with This Week in Connecticut, the governor told Dennis House that he has a group in place to buy the troubled Coyotes and relocate them to Hartford. Basically, just tell him, Gary Bettman, hey, we're here, we're available, and we're ready. And I know Quebec City did the exact same thing, and they've got the Centre Vidéotron ready to go and waiting for years, and it hasn't done anything for them, but still... You won't get the team if you don't try. And make no mistake about it, Ned Lamont, who's the governor who's orchestrating all of this, he's trying. Quote, I've talked to Gary Bettman, the commissioner of the NHL. Right now, the Coyotes don't have a place to play on a permanent basis, so they're looking around trying to find options, Lamont said. Connecticut is definitely on the radar screen. It's a hockey center here. We love hockey. There's a lot of balls in the air. I had to tell him this place is hockey enthusiasm. You're not going to have to subsidize this team. People are going to love this team. And he then goes on to mention that, yes, the new home of the Whalers would be the XL Center, which currently houses AHL hockey for the Wolfpack and university hockey for the Yukon Huskies team. And it would need a facelift in order to be NHL ready. But Lamont mentioned, and of course, obviously he's going to say this, I think people are ready to go. We've got to do this. The XL Center is badly in need of a real facelift. And more than that, we've got some great teams starting with the Yukon team and the Wolfpack. So again, I mean, other than the arena needing a major facelift, they have a real shot here. But of course, as a lot of people have alluded to, Gary loves to put teams in markets that are non-traditional hockey markets rather than places where people already love the game. And he's committed to trying to find a way to keep the team in Arizona. So that does throw a wrench in the plans here, those two things. And especially like there was somebody with a sign the other day in Vegas saying like, oh, the team I didn't know I loved and the sport I didn't know I needed. That's like exactly what Gary Bettman dreams about. That's why he wants to put teams in like the most random places you would think. But man, Hartford along with Quebec City, if those two true diehard hockey markets could get an NHL team again, it's just good for the league. I don't care if they already love hockey. Having an NHL team in your market with diehard fans is nothing but a good thing and positive and profitable, Gary. Listen up, man. It works. I'm telling you. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.